Some of you will already be aware about Insights for ArcGIS. It's designed to support a new pattern for analysis and visualization through spatial data exploration. Insights is now released. You can easily add your data into Insights from a number of different data sources, including SQL Server, SAP HANA, spreadsheets, and of course, your complete ArcGIS content. I'm going to add in some data from New York City. New York City gets over 6,500 311 calls every single day. 311 calls relate to non-emergency municipal services that both individuals and organizations are requesting. This relates to just calls they've had regarding rodent issues. You can see we have over 30,000 issues. And we can see, if I drag across the date to a chart, that this is for 2016, and we can see how it's increased during the year. Changing the map type, we can see those concentrations of areas where they've had more calls regarding rodents. And the interactivity between those cards allows us to see that that spatial distribution has changed over time. This type of data will be updated frequently, and you can easily refresh your data set simply by clicking Refresh. If you want to know when that data was last updated, simply turn the card, and you'll see when it was last updated. You can explore your data using maps, charts, and tables. And you'll see as I drop that variable, the statistics are dynamically calculated so that we can see the different types of complaints the city is receiving. Dragging across a different variable, you'll see how that table is instantly updated. Now we can see that most of the calls they're receiving are coming from residential buildings. These cards are simply visualizations of your data, and you can change the visualization type with a single click. So you can change from a map to a table to a number of different types of charts. Everything that you do in Insights is recorded as you do your analysis, which you can see if I change the analysis view. Now you can see that everything I've just shown you has created a model. These models can easily be shared, and importing it is as simple as adding in more data. So I can go to my model and simply add that in. Now in order to rerun that analysis, I simply update it with my own data. And as that data is put in, the downstream analysis is instantly run for me. So this model aggregates those complaints to its sub-boroughs. I enrich the data with population. I can calculate a rate of complaints to the population and create a couple of charts that now show us those sub-boroughs where we have the most number of complaints. We can see that there's no relationship between the total population in the sub-boroughs and the amount of complaints they're receiving. And we can also see on this chart below, those sub-boroughs that have low populations and high number of, of complaints. You can easily share everything that you do in Insights. So I can share it out as a model, as you've already seen. I can share that page. And everybody has the interactivity that you see between all of the cards. You can share it to a web, to a web page, to a story map, so that you can get your stories out there. 